In this video, we'll be discussing the anatomy of the temporomandibular joint. More specifically, we'll be taking a look inside the joint capsule, and we'll also see some structures lying directly outside the joint capsule. Now we introduced some terminology in the introductory video to this playlist. We mentioned that the temporomandibular joint itself is abbreviated the TMJ. So TMJ is the actual joint. It's an anatomic structure. But if we're talking about pain associated with the TMJ or dysfunction of the TMJ, then we're talking about TMD. That's temporomandibular dysfunction. So TMD is the syndrome. TMJ is the anatomic structure. More specifically, the TMJ is an articulation between the mandibular condyle, you can see that right here inferiorly, and then the mandibular fossa superiorly. And the mandibular fossa is a part of the temporal bone, as you can see right there. Now, if we look within the joint space here of the TMJ, we see that it's an indirect articulation between the mandibular condyle inferiorly and the mandibular fossa superiorly. And that's due to the presence of this purple structure right here, which is the articular disc. More information on that on the next slide and also the coming videos. Now, most synovial joints will have the articular cartilage of one bone in direct contact with the articular cartilage of the other bone. And the only thing in between those two structures is synovial fluid. But obviously here, you have the articular disc interrupting that. Now, functionally speaking, the articular disc is very important to the biomechanics of the TMJ, and we'll be discussing that biomechanics in the coming videos. But if you notice, anatomically speaking, the disc actually separates the joint cavity into an upper or superior part and a lower or inferior part. Now, switching images here, let's find the following structures. We'll start off easy. So the mandibular condyle and the mandibular fossa. So in this picture over here on the left side, this is anterior. And over here on the right side, this is posterior. So right here, this is going to be the mandibular condyle. The anterior eminence, so to speak, right here, this is the coronoid process. This is actually where the temporalis muscle attaches. This is the mandibular condyle. And up here is the mandibular fossa of the temporal bone. Okay. Now let's find the TMJ capsule and the associated synovial membranes, okay? So the joint capsule here is shown in this bluish color, this lightish blue. So right there, that's the joint capsule. You can see it go all the way around here, okay? And then a little bit deep to that, this reddish structure, these are actually the associated synovial membranes. Remember, they secrete the synovial fluid that fills the joint capsule. So if we look at the mandibular fossa right here, the anterior ridge right here that sort of protrudes downward, this is called the articular tubercle, also called the articular eminence. And then within the TMJ capsule, this purple structure right here, this is the articular disc. And you'll notice that it divides the joint cavity, which is this dark blue, into an upper and lower half. So up here, this is the upper or superior joint cavity. And then right here, this is the lower or inferior joint cavity. And then sort of in the middle of the articular disc, right around here, this is the intermediate region of the articular disc. And then attaching posteriorly to the synovial membrane over here and some other structures, this would actually be the retrodiscal tissue of the articular disc. Now, why is it important to know that this articular disc separates the TMJ capsule into a superior compartment and an inferior compartment. Well, it's because each of these two compartments is involved in a different phase of mandibular movement. And we're gonna talk about that more in the next video when we cover the biomechanics of the TMJ. Make sure to join us there. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. Be sure to check out my Instagram for cool science and not science stuff.